video we are going to talk about how to set up google ads campaigns for moving companies and if you see my page here on on my screen here i just did a search query on google saying moving companies in in usa i am sitting here in goa india and i found these ads from moving companies that are best in usa and they are showing their ads unintentionally unsuspectingly in in india right this is why you need a professional google ads agency to do this google ads for you i could have saved you a lot of money here so gen move uh black uh, black tie moving and vectors vector movers nj you guys uh you know work with okay so let's let's go about and see uh, how to set up google ads campaigns if you were to set up by yourself how to set up google ads campaign for moving companies in usa not, not in usa if you are a moving company anywhere this is how you should be doing google ads campaigns for you for your business in 2024 okay so i have opened this website uh you know and first let's do the website goal definition so what do they want they want people to uh you know consumer alert okay i'm going to close this so general moving carriers they want people to contact them for 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 a free quote and get dollar 50 your move you know we guarantee our quotes call now they want people to call them basically for what for moving right so on their website the only thing that they have is call us to get dollar 50 off your move and we guarantee our quotes one stop shop for all your moving and storage needs okay so a website looks okay you know i think it does a okay job of uh, telling the you know if somebody came to this web page they would not get it wrong but what is the goal of this website the goal of this website is to get phone calls right and if that was the goal are they tracking phone calls as conversions that's the first thing you need to ask right so you should be you know tracking phone calls as conversions now looking at this ad here it's it's in the first place right on the first place generally you get to see ad extensions you see so the third company here vector movers nj has a uh, get moving call now call to action but no call extension i think right so that's the first miss that you want people to call you you could have set up a call extension here in the ad and that would have saved you uh, unwanted click going to the website and then discovering like one extra step so very clearly uh, what happens when i click on this it goes to open skype oh my god they want people oh no skype it's, it's opening because <laughs> skype is set up as default calling option for me on my web on my computer so no they they're not wrong so probably they will uh, they will get to call them on a phone call. Uh, they will open the phone number right do they have a contact form uh, call now for a free quote no they don't i think ideally they should have a contact form as well so that and if they don't have a contact form then the only thing they should be running is is a call ad so gen moving general moving carriers guys you should just have a phone call uh, call ad not an standard ad where you bring people to the website and ask them to call you just on a call ad i think that's 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 better right move close or far no job too big okay let's look look at the second com- uh, company here so black tie uh, moving let's open their website and see how their website is uh, ranking i'm i'm delaying this google ads bit here because i want you to be very clear about uh, you know the website and the website goals because that ties back into the campaign goal and unless you know the campaign goal everything that you do on the campaign is not going to be useful not going to work well for you so look the black tie moving company company's website is way better than you know uh general moving carriers website what they have not done right is they are showing ads in india they should not be and i will tell you why this is happening and how you can avoid this from happening okay so here it's good highly skilled local and long distance movers you can fill up a form or give them a call so two goals right get a free quote or call them so two conversion goals here two business goals 
Uh, therefore, two campaign goals: either call them or get a free code. What happens when you get a free uh, click the free, get free code button? You come back to this form and you enter the details. So our campaign goal should be two: one is the form submission, and another is the tracking these phone calls, right? And we have a very well defined process of tracking phone calls through a third party app called Call Tracking Metric or Call Rail, which helps you. in long run improving the performance of your campaign so you get more qualified calls unless you track the phone calls you'll never know what you know whether or not you are getting relevant calls and whether or not you can get more of these relevant calls so we have a, a separate process for that reach out to us if you need help with using google ads effectively for moving companies for your moving company and getting the max returns out of google ads at lowest possible cost that's what we do so two conversion goals here uh, web form submission and phone call tracking so the the first step for you to start a google ads campaign is to you know uh, go to go to the uh, google ads account and if you don't have a google ads account you can sign up one and then start creating a campaign no actually wait don't create campaign create the conversion goal first okay so let's uh, go to the google ads account all right so once you come to the google ads account this is the old interface by the way you will be prompted for using the new design interface so explore the new design better let's do it in the new design and the first thing you have to do is you have to go and create a conversion goal right and what conversion goals we identified uh, for black tie moving is one the web form submission and the other one is tracking the phone calls and you can create these two conversion goals by going to goals here on the left and going to conversions and creates uh, click on summary once you click on summary uh, it will show you the options to create a conversion goal and you are creating two conversion goals here right so and by the way i have a step by step video how to create these conversion goals here right how to set up conversion tracking is a step by step video here you can watch this first video which will guide you step by step how to create conversion goals so the first step is to create a new conversion action right and you will get two options four options basically but two options is useful in your case one is the website so uh, website is because you want to track how many people submitted the form on this website that's the first conversion goal and once you click you can enter the website domain and it will ask you to uh, it will give you two options and you can select that option to for example let's say let me actually show you uh go to campaigns website domain scan and once you scan it will give you two options one is the google ads tag and the other is the google tag manager uh, option uh, i created through google tag manager option so select that option which is add a conversion action manually and then follow this video right this will help you step by step how to create conversion goals if you don't want to do this yourself this sounds too uh, complicated reach out to us all right so you will create these two conversion goals one is the web form the second conversion goal that i want you to create is for phone calls first was for the lead form like form submission the second conversion goal is for phone calls and there are three options and you should be creating a conversion goal for each of these options right first is the calls from ads so alongside the ads you will show a phone number which as a call extension so and there should be a conversion goal for that there should be a conversion goal also for a calls to a phone number on your website so for example if they come here they don't call your uh, number from the ad but they come here and then call this number there is a way to track these as conversions as well and this is what we do uh, as an agency which is different different in the sense that we have a whole setup a whole process around this the third option is clicks on your number on your mobile website and you should be like setting up conversion action like i said for all three options here um again this this is the complicated part and you can reach out to us for professional help in setting up your conversion actions but if you have got this covered then the next step is for you to go and create campaigns so go to campaigns on the left and then go to campaigns and start with a new campaign here right so create a new campaign and once you create a new campaign it's going to ask you to choose the objective of the campaign so what is the objective of this campaign the objective that we identified in the first uh, step uh, for a moving company was 
two objectives. Either people should fill this form or they should call this number, right? Interested, like prospects, the customers. So our campaign goal, therefore, is to get leads, not sales. Sales is happening later. Like people should call you or fill the submit inquiry form. They are basically a lead, right? So leads is the campaign objective. And then you will have to choose the conversion goal. So if you have already set up your phone call, and the submit lead form as conversion goal, you will select those two here and then move to the next step, right? Uh, once you move to the next step, it's going to ask you to select a campaign type. Now, there are one, two, three, four, five, six campaign types here. For moving companies, the first recommended option is the search campaign type because that's where you will find your audience and that's where you should be spending your first dollars, right? Because when somebody is searching for Google, for moving companies in New Jersey, your ad should pop up versus somebody reading some news on New York Times and happen to see your ad. That person may not be interested in, in, in a moving company, right? But if somebody is searching specifically for a moving company on Google search and therefore search network is the campaign type for you, that is the ideal option. But there is a catch here, guys. The catch here is that if you select the search option, it's going to ask you for website visit and phone calls these are the two options we have so website visit is our website is this and phone number is let's enter the phone number here right this is the phone number right so i'm going to enter the phone number and it's us so there you go continue so i said uh, let's type a campaign name it's for leads in search and uh, moving moving uh, phone plus no form plus phone I, I like it to, to name it around the goal of the campaign also right okay next continue okay and uh, we can start new okay I, I already had two campaigns in the draft it was showing it will not show it to you okay now comes the super important part in your google ads campaign creation for moving companies it is going to ask you to set up a choose the bidding strategy. Bidding strategies is what how you want to bid for your traffic for your uh, prospective clicks on the basis of what. So what's your uh, focus on? Focus is on conversion, of course. For for the moving company, the goal is to get conversions, which is making people fill this form or call this number, but. Wait a second. We're not going to choose conversion goal here right off the bat because in most cases, you're probably setting it the, this up uh, for the first time, right? You do not have any campaign running on Google Ads and therefore conversion should not be the goal at this point, at the start. Why? Because when you choose, choose conversion as the bid strategy, bidding, Google's machine learning is going to get you conversions out of your daily budget which may not be super efficient to start with because Google doesn't have any first party data of who you are after, right? Who your customers are. So it doesn't have any learning about conversions, about leads, about your prospects. So the conversion focus bid strategy might not work very well in the beginning. Therefore, I first go for clicks. My bidding is for clicks. I want to get clicks around my target keywords, right? Moving company, New Jersey, for example. And I want to see how many of those convert. And once we get some conversions, ideal is 30 conversions in the last 30 days. That kind of like, you know, if you have 30 conversions in a month, you, you are good enough to switch to a, a conversion focus bid strategy. But if you're starting from zero, select clicks and then set a maximum cost per click bid limit. Um, this might depend on how, how competitive are the moving company keywords. And we will come back to this later. But to start with, let's say uh, it's showing in rupees, but let's say you are in US or so you, your currency will be dollars. I'm going to say one dollar, right? Ignore the rupee sign here. You know, this is from my uh, India account. So it's going to show rupee. But if I was putting equivalent, I would put 82. That's the dollar uh, equivalent. Uh, to rupees and if you are in us let's say i want to start with one dollar right and go next now this is the second most important part here and google will play will play a bit of a trick here it's saying that networks so it's giving you the option to select and by default both are selected remember what we discussed we don't want people reading news on new york times to click your ad because 
A lot of them are probably not looking for moving companies. But people who are specifically searching for moving company in New Jersey, they are looking for a moving company. Therefore, we're going to uncheck this display network. We want to our ads to show only on search network for now. It's going to show you an alert that shows you're also in more places, but ignore that for now. Okay. Now your location option. Of course, your location option is going to be US. Or if you want to just target New Jersey, then you're going to enter the uh, New Jersey as the location. So where is where, where do they have moving companies? Get luxury moving services in price you can afford. Uh, movers, moving solutions, eliminate all your needs. Where are the best at? Local and long distance moving and storage company. They're not saying which area. Where are they serving nationwide? Our locations. Okay, so they have multiple locations, right? Looks like they are all across US. So we can say United States here. Okay, uh, United States. I was saying New Jersey because I saw the other company. I think they are uh, New Jersey, right? No, New Jersey was this one, the other third, third, third one. So Vector Movers NJ. I think they were they were about New Jersey. So that what that's where I got New Jersey. Anyways, this is all of US. I'm gonna say United States as the target. I want to show my ads in United States. Now here is another option that you should be very very careful about, and Google can play tricks on you because it hides this option, location option. Remember the reason why we saw this ad. I could see this ad, these three ads while sitting in India. I searched for moving companies in the USA and I saw these ads because they these moving companies who set up the, and running their ads on Google, they have left the location option to default as presence or interest, which means whether your prospects are physically present in US or they have an interest in US in your target location which is US, right? So because my search query had an interest in US, which is moving companies in USA, the ad popped up here in India in Goa for me, which shouldn't be the case, right? If you are a moving company only serving US, your location option should be presence. Thank me later. I have saved you countless dollars that you would have otherwise wasted. And these three companies are wasting on Google. Okay. Next is language, which can leave to default US broad match keywords. There is no option. So you can leave it to broad match. Now we can change that later. Okay. And the reason why I'm saying change that later is because, uh, starting with click focus build strategy, broad match is not the ideal match type. Broad match works best with conversion focus build strategy. And, but we are not there yet. We should have 30, 40 conversions in the account in the campaigns and then switch to a broad match versus a broad match with conversion focus build strategy. Okay. This, if this is something too technical to you, all you have to do is reach out to me, uh, reach out to guidedppc.com uh, and request month and month Google ads management service. We'll set up to everything. All of this will be taken care of by us. We'll set up the campaigns for you. We'll manage the campaigns for you and we'll send you beautiful reports every week saying that, Hey, you spent this much. These many leads came from these campaigns, these keywords. This is the ad that is working best for you. And we'll keep reducing the cost of conversions and getting you more and more leads. Right. So very simple. <laughs> you know, this is what we do. Google ads is the only thing we do and we can make this simple for you. We can save you a lot of wastage. Um, and do a professional job, right? So anyways, so let, let's move on. Uh, there are some more settings here and you don't want to get into these because, uh, for example, one important could be, uh, ad schedule. Do you want to show your ads all day? Yeah, probably. Yes. Not if you are showing the phone call and you can schedule the phone call number to show in a particular duration during the day, like 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. And those options are available when you're creating the call extension. So again, a bit of, uh, advanced stuff that others would not tell you we are telling you because we care uh, i care really about your uh, money not being wasted okay uh, brand restrictions uh, just leave it to default you don't need to worry about it go to next and now uh, there is get help creating your ad so google will start google has generative ai ad uh, play here in 2024 
that's the promise google marketing live happened and that's where they discussed that okay uh, generative ai like chat gpt uh, gemini at google is going to help you with writing ads finding keywords and stuff and that's what we have here right so help create my ad let's use generative ai uh, and see uh, what we get here so it got the website because we entered the url before and then it has got one keyword which is movers so long distance moving company moving company so uh, these keywords are okay right moving transportation moving services these keywords are not bad but too few to start with right um, you can also uh, enter your suggestions here like ideas here so let's go back to the moving company website and see what they say highly skilled local and long distance long distance movers local and long distance movers let's say if i enter this as the keyword what do i get here from google hello google update keyword suggestions yes replace i am replacing because uh, actually i just don't want movers to be honest just want i want to see with long and local and long distance movers what do i get as keyword suggestions so replace I mean, it will be interesting to see, right? So now the keywords are more specific, right? These search queries are more specific. Local and long distance movers, local long distance movers, professional movers, cross country. See, the keywords are way more relevant versus movers. Anybody movers, like, but their speciality is that they are the local and long distance movers, black tie moving, right? So the keywords are way more um, uh, specific and therefore more specific keywords means more relevant people coming to your website and more relevant people inquiring and higher chance of you getting visitors into converting as a lead and therefore you will be not paying for unwanted clicks okay now um, i think the keywords are okay to start with we can start with these but you can always come back to the campaign and add more keywords right so now let's come back to ads and see what kind of ads google has suggest suggested right so it has already written some headlines for you long distance moving company home moving court top rated local movers award-winning service i don't think this is like spot on right these are generally okay the headlines but do they want to say long distance moving company only let's see uh, what they want to say highly skilled movers right so highly skilled movers could be one of the headlines where are this saying this superlative highly skilled fully accredited highly skilled so google missed out on this one highly skilled movers yeah it has got good job gemini good job google yeah so one is good uh, professional team can provide turnkey moving solutions that will eliminate all your stress okay uh, highly skilled local and long distance movers local and long distance movers together will probably not fit in because the headlines have 30 characters limit right oh <laughs> there you go it matched exactly as 30 characters so i'm gonna do what guys i'm gonna move this as my first headline which is way more defining and i want to pin this as the headline on headline position one because this is what we do this is why we are different we are local and long distance movers this is what we say on our website too so our ads will be super relevant we are uh, going to position ourselves as local and long distance movers which is different from just movers okay so i'm going to pin this on headline position one right so all the all uh, ad combinations will start with this as the first headline see local and long distance movers request a quote and next is what local and logistics movers stress free relocation so the ads are looking more uh, uh you know um, better now but what has happened is ad strength has gone down to average right so let's remove this pin and see what happens yes the ad strength improved now you have to <laughs> make this trade off between do you want your ads to be super specific or do you want the ad strength to be higher i think higher ad strengths can help but this is super important like positioning your ad uh, headline with exactly what you do is super super important so i'll leave this choice to you 
this good to average is not much of a diminishing result right not much of a downfall so you can still choose to keep this as the pinned headline but again this is up for testing so but important is that you know that these options are at play here okay cool uh, description lines our highly our high end moving services have been recognized by forbes and of post is that the case i think so and google is again smart by picking this as a description great job gemini great job google ads look guys this is where google ads is evolving right so if you are a google ads specialist um, you, your job is much easier now right if you are a business you already have this taken care of by ai generative ai and all you have to do is review and accept or adjust what is required it has already picked up pictures from the website great job right so this pretty much looks like a ad taken care of you can add a business logo if you want and you should add a business logo which is here in this case black tie moving so i can save this picture and upload it here that's for later you can add some site links right so add some site links and site links can be links to these pages where uh, people can go and you know directly from the ad they can see here is an example of site links in the ad see in the third second ad apartment movers black tie moving reviews careers like uh, this is not a like this is not something you want to show with your ad so again black tie moving company bad job <laughs> you should not put careers link in the ad like if i am a if i am a, a prospective customer uh, looking to move uh, use your moving services why should i care about uh, career options here right so this is a not a required link site link so this is what you can do so you can uh, create these site links by so long distance you yes, see expedited mover moves long distance commercial these could be site links specialized this could be site links storage this could be site links not careers correct so you have the important thing to note here is that you have the option of creating these site links and again you have the option of creating these call outs and call outs what are the call outs again an extension of the ad and the call out an example of call out can be let's see if i have something here uh, looks like i don't let's look at the bottom do i have something here uh, i have site links i don't have an extension so um, in call outs you can write additional lines of text 25 characters each which can further establish your uh, value proposition so for example in the case of black tie moving what they can write is luxury moving services at price you can afford right and um featured in nbc featured in cvs featured in forbes featured in uh, realtor.com those can be an in 500 company those can be additional uh, call outs like one extra line of text right so local moving long distance moving these could be site links because these are links the individual lines which further enrich your value proposition why they should do business with you can be added as your um, you know call outs so they have some suggestions here no obligation free audit get free action plan oh this is this is from my website so don't ignore this these are the call outs i have created for my guided ppc campaigns so you can uh, write new call outs here and add some call out text 25 up to 25 characters in length okay so think about how you can enrich your ad and you should explore all these options why would you not because if your ad can show on top position and so more text like you know it can show the site links and uh, you know call outs and and a phone number your ad is going to be more prominent and therefore higher chance of getting a click from somebody searching so uh, it all you know fits in well in the scheme of things and therefore you should be exploring all these additional options and there are more asset types so you can add a promotion here you can add prices you can add a phone call num phone number so these guys they are uh, offering a phone number right so they should add this as a call extension uh add the phone number and like i said it can you can schedule like you can keep the campaign running for 24 hours but when you enter the call you can schedule this call by going to advanced option 
like all days let's say uh, weekdays monday to friday between uh, 8 am for example you can schedule the phone number to display within this hours only 8 am to 5 pm again this is an advanced option that nobody would have told you but you are watching my video so you are empowered okay so this is schedule for phone call extension look none of these guys are showing um, phone call extension i mean i'm like let down disappointed by black tie moving because they should have been showing the phone number alongside the ad they're not which is a mess right because on the landing page they are offering phone calls phone number an option for people to call them good so uh, that's that and then uh, you will go to the next step which is ignore the lead form you can try a structured snippet which can which can be helpful again some extra uh, text you can add apps ignore so lead form doesn't work don't don't even try that okay so add promotion add prices add calls add call outs add site links these are my recommended options again if this sounds too much of work <laughs> 250 a month <laughs> that's all it takes guys and we do a lot of work uh, so we we do a lot of work in getting this set up right getting this managed right and we watch over uh, every click on your ad and we make sure that you are getting the absolute best results and you are paying the lowest to google and you are reaching the most targeted folks for your uh, business via google ads right so once you go next you are pretty much ready I'm not going to go next and set up this campaign, but this is the walkthrough. This is the step-by-step -step tutorial for for a moving company that wants to run ads on Google. And I've already identified opportunities where these guys could have done better. So, Gen Movers, uh, Black Tie Moving. Uh, I'm sure if I went to this company's website, I would have found some opportunities there too. and sorry gen move and black tie moving i cost you some money by clicking on your ads but i didn't didn't have any other option <laughs> so if you are running these ads yourself go and set that option to presence only if an agency is running this for you fire them give it to us we'll manage it better for you <laughs> cheers hope this is helpful if it is helpful give me a like uh share this with others this can help others other moving companies as well and Oh, by the way, we we offer twenty percent discount. So if you work with us and you bring other moving companies, your friends and family and other contacts, we'll offer you twenty percent discount on two hundred two fifty per month, right? So you will be paying twenty percent less. Cool. Hope this is helpful. Um, you know, if you're watching this video, like, share, subscribe to my channel, and if you want to work with us, just go to guidedppc dot com here. This is our website. Um, we position ourselves for dtc brands but we equally do well for uh, local businesses moving companies and we've got some solid portfolio here uh, you can go and request a free action plan or contact us and we'll come back to you 